Uh, good day folks. I uh, thought I'd put together a quick video, just a simple one. Uh, we might just look at something as simple as green rocks today. I'll, I'll just move around my stockpiles and uh, select some green rocks and we'll have a quick look at each of them. So we'll kick off with this fuchsite um, from uh, Western Australia. And what I'll do with each rock is I'll just wet it and then I'll show you the cut surface and uh, then we'll move on to another rock. So I'll give this one a wet. Yeah, it's a nice rock, it has some um, adventurescence. I don't know if that's the right word, adventurescence in it, where, where they, that reflects in the light. And the cut slabs are very nice, got a bit of a pattern in them there. It's uh, about a medium hardness when you're cutting it, and uh, it's easy to shape and polish. That's fuchsite from Western Australia. All right, next one I selected is this chrysocola that's in a matrix. I don't know what sort of matrix it's in, but I'll give that a wet and we'll have a look at it. Now these, you get a lot of different variants of chrysocolla that's mixed in with a matrix. Uh, this one, the cut surface shows the chrysocolla in thin layers, like it's very visible on that plane. But when you cut slab across the planes, you only see uh, smaller visions of it. In retrospect, when I'd cut this rock about a month ago, I really should have cut it with the layers. Same way the layers go and captured more of the chrysocolla on, on the slab surface. So that's chrysocolla and matrix. We'll probably end up having up, another look at a different variant of this because I've got quite a few variants of this in the yard. As I was walking away with the chrysocolla, I noticed on this cut surface there's a lot of manganese. And dots of quartz in it as well. Ah, uh, and I forgot to say it's from Western Australia also. Now this next rock's a bit of a ring in, although it's got green in it. It's also got a lot of red and dark green. This is unikite, and this particular variant is from Northwest Queensland in Australia. It's about a, when you cut it's about a medium hardness. Great pattern on there. It's got a blotchy red and dark green and some white quartz areas in it. Uh, nice lapidary rock. Easy to shape and polish. Yeah, Unicrate. Now see if you know what this one is. It's um, half white and uh, I'm going to say half green. We'll give it a wet. Do you know what it is? This is, I don't know the proper mineral name, but it's, the Lapru name is tree agate and it's from India. It's a uh, soft medium to cut and easy to work, uh, easy to polish. And all around a nice lapidary material. It's tree agate from India. Now our next rock on the list is this rhyolite. Now I suppose the proper name is rhyolite with spherulites. The camera picks that up. See the spherical inclusions in there. There's called spherulites. Uh, this is from Mount Hay in Queensland, Australia. We'll give it a wet. Uh, that's the cut surface in one direction. It will look like that. It will look slightly different if you cut it in, in another direction. You can see the spherulites there. 
in there. Yeah. Rhyolite with spherulites are uh, also as a nickname of rainforest jasper and really nice lap reading material about a medium hardness to cut and medium to, to hard and makes great um, cut and polished projects. Now there was a couple more little pieces of rhyolite with spherulites in the bin so it can be varied so I'll show you each one of these. Yeah, slightly different. The spherulites are more colourful in this piece. As you can see in the cut surface there, really nice. This one is uh, more brown in it. This pink surface here is where the rhyolite is degrading. The rock is breaking down, decomposing over many thousands of years of course, uh, into clay. And these clay particles will fall off and um, and into the soil structure as clay. Mm, nice piece that one. I like this brown just as much as the uh, green variants. And it also occurs with the spherulites very small and the base rhyolite is a um, a cream with a lighter green colour. More like with spherulites again. Well, I'm starting to use my brain. I bring two at a time instead of walking back and forth. Dodo. Now this is nice, but very fragile. It's um, I think they call it. It's an opalite, which is a silica variant. I think the miner calls it opalite with serpentine. I should have looked at the tag while it's over there. And the cut surface is pretty spectacular. It's slightly see-through, translucent, but uh, very fragile and can fracture along these cracks. Uh, good for cutting a slab and just polishing the slab, but as for small projects, you've really got to pick the area that you uh, shape your small projects from. Moving on. Ah. This next one, um, it's uh, medium to hard to cut. It's a uh, serpentinite, or some people just say serpentine, from South Africa. The cut surfaces are a, a bit very. Um, it's never turned me on much. If you can get your projects from this uh, darker green area, or even if you go half and half brown and green is okay, but and it can um, chip and fracture. It's very uh, uh, like a shirt. Um, can be glassy, like a hard glassy substance. For um, specimens though. Just in a geological collection, yeah, very nice rock. A little nodule like that sits well on the shelf as a display. So serpentine or serpentinite from South Africa. Here we have a nice looking one, but once again can be very fragile. The camera probably might not be able to see all these fractures running in a similar direction. Best thing you can do with this is if you buy a slab and you see your fractures, is tap your slab on a bench top or something and break it purposely to um, see. It. Therefore, you identify your areas you can make your projects from where it's not going to fracture on you. I'll give that a wet for you. Ah, oh, did I tell you what it was? It's stichite, which is the purple stuff, in serpentine, which is a green area from. Dundas region in Tasmania, Australia. Yeah, if you can get a nice slab with no fractures in it, uh, certainly is a nice stuff. It's uh, soft to medium when you're cutting it, then shaping and polish polishes fairly easy. Polishes to a nice polish, surprisingly nice for a softer material. It's the chite in serpentine. 
from Tasmania, Australia. Now this one is a the miner has a trade name or commercial name of um, I forgot. I'm going to look. I forget. I always forget the commercial names. I know what it is. It's 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 opalite um, with serpentine in in the layers mixed together. Um, the commercial name the miner calls it is op opalized serpentine. I'll give that a wet. Pretty spectacular looking rock with greens and browns and some minimal yellow. There's the cut surface there. Um, another rock that's because of the opalite content is very fragile and the way the layers are, are structured. But if you do get a nice area, you know, really nice cavicons and pendants. So, opalized serpentine. This is from the Newman district in the top north of Western Australia. Well, I thought I might have a few green rocks here, but I have about, I don't know how much rock I have here, maybe four, maybe five ton, metric ton. But I've only gone through the first couple hundred kilos and I've shown you all them rocks already. So I think what we'll do is look at a two or three more and then we'll have to make a part two of this video. So our next rock here is it has a it's a Chalcedony variant I've been told, um, but the name I know it by is Praise, starting with a P P R Praise. It's from Western Australia. It's a popular lapidary material. It's medium, slightly hard to cut. I'll give that a wet. Really nice shade of green. See some quartz areas in it intermingled. I've got a cut piece here. And that shows the the cut surface. This uh, can be variable um, in depending on what batch of praise you get. I'll just hold them two together. Uh, it's slightly varied this one, one from the other. Yeah, so praise from Western Australia. Right, folks, our next two rocks. First one is a serpentine with a mineral infill in it. Uh, this is from a place called Cattle Creek, which is in the Mackay district of Queensland, Australia. Give that a wet and look at the cut surface. It's a medium sort of hardness to cut, soft to medium, easy to cut, easy to work, easy to polish and shape. There's the cut surface there. If you can capture the infill in your small projects, and it's not a one that some of the infills will fall to bits when you start working along the infill lines, but if you capture a bit where it will done fall to bits, you get a nice colour variation in your small project. But even over here in the in the um, serpentine area, it's nice, nice sort of stuff. Takes a glassy polish. Next is a material they call chrome chalcedony, and it's from the Pilbara region in the north of Western Australia. Um, to be more precise, in the Newman region of Western Australia. Give this a wet. It's a, um, um, you can see through this material, so it makes really nice projects, cavicons, pendants. Mm, attractive material. A lot of this other matrix is mixed in with it, but if you get a good slab of it, it's well worth, and some, sometimes you can see the brown in it, in the green as well. But well worth um, having a go at Chrome Chalcedony from Western Australia. All right, I think we'll do one more, and then we'll in the future 
Uh, we'll do another green rocks video. Right, the last one for today's video I've selected is a marble and it's from India and it's a green and white or green and cream as you can see. We'll give it a the moisture. It's uh you can see the typical marble sort of structure there where my finger is and then a uh, what might be a serpentine is interlaced with the marble giving that nice color there's the cut surface oh, pretty spectacular easy to work with soft to medium easy to cut easy to shape and as long as you don't push too hard on your polishing uh, devices it takes a glassy polish nice glassy polish so marble from India okay folks Hope you enjoyed your um, daily dose of green rocks. I hope in the future to make some videos um, with uh, highly technical names like red rocks and blue rocks. <laughs> okay, please subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends and definitely leave me a comment. Signing out. Thanks.